hello hello everyone welcome back to the call out few bible chats i am sophia and how are you all doing i hope that you're feeling blessed you know halloween is so good you know when i think about all the things that he has been doing in my life is excellent that's all i can say i wish there was another word that i could really used to magnify the king of all kings but here I want to you know give us a quick encouragement I will say us because I too am part of the called out few and so I am going to take a little reading here from the book of James chapter 4 verse 13 to 17 and really my topic is boasting about tomorrow so here it goes now listen you will say today or tomorrow we will go to this or that city Spend a year there, carry on business and make money. Why? You do not even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is Yah's will, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogant schemes. All such boasting is evil. If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. And here it's the reading of Yah's only word. Thanks be to hell are you. So, um, <laughs> you know, as I came upon this passage, it reminds me of Proverbs chapter 27. You know, um, let me see if I can quickly go there. So, Proverbs chapter 27, verse 1 do not boast about tomorrow for you do not know what a day may bring and you know when the word here speak about tomorrow it, it don't necessarily necessarily means tomorrow it can be the next hour or the next five minutes because you know many of us we plan you know all these big plans we said, oh, tomorrow I'm going to do this. Tomorrow I'm going to go to this place. Tomorrow I'm going to make sure it is done. And here we're told by James that tomorrow, you know, is promised to no man. Right? Tomorrow. Who told you that you will live to see tomorrow? So he's saying what we should say is if yas will if it's yas will because remember nothing happens if you don't allow it so um for me honestly honestly i never tell nobody oh tomorrow this tomorrow that i said if it's the lord's will i always use that term because the first time i came up on this passage i make sure i try to put it in practice and it has really become a part of me and i'm very grateful you know many of us feel like you know we're here forever and so we don't understand that our life is in the hand of the creator our life is in the hand of the most high the one that created us and blow his breath into us and we became a living soul and you know we're not here forever we're like that you know that's what um james is saying we're like a vapor that just vanish you know miss that's our life right we're here today and then tomorrow we're gone 
right? So James here is pointing out that it is it's, it is counted as evil when we boast about tomorrow, when we have plans, big mighty plans for tomorrow. We have these big mighty plans, you know, concerning the future or literal tomorrow or the next five minutes when we don't even know what's going to take place. Where we should say, if it's Yah's will, then I'm going to do that. Not saying that you're not supposed to plan, right? Because, you know, Yah deals with order. You know, you can't just get up and jump through through the window right you have to put things in plan but what is what James is here correcting us that we need to say if it's the will of Elohim yeah I hear people use this you know tomorrow see you tomorrow this that whatever and you know we don't know what can take place the next minute because you know our life is like vapor it's a mess you know today we're standing tall later on we drop both and we're gone you know so we need to practice what the word you know instruct us or you know guide us on you know this is very helpful as it's saying that it's a sin it's evil you know it's an evil boasting right so let us just humble ourselves and you know um, do as Proverbs bid us, you know, um, that in all our ways we should acknowledge him and he'll direct our paths. Anyways, I hope that this little passage has blessed you and, you know, may us grow in the way that is pleasing unto him. He commanded us to be perfect like our Father in heaven is perfect and... You know the word said that not one jot or one tittle you know shall pass so we have to be careful like all scriptures is very helpful as you know um second timothy you know as you go in the third chapter you know it says all scriptures are given by inspiration it's good for you know correction and all these things so that we can be perfect and thoroughly furnished right so let us just try our best you know no matter how small it is if it's in the word let us try and do it our best we can do it if we ask you know our heavenly dad he will he will give us a strength he is the one that said to paul in second corinthians that my grace is sufficient you know i believe that we can do all things through Yeshua who strengthens us because remember he already overcome he's an overcomer to all these things and if we die with him and we raise with him that means we can overcome as well so let us try our very best to practice what the word of Yah teaches us and commanded us and in the in the end you know all this can be counted to us as righteousness so Anyways, as usual, may Yah bless you, may Yah keep you, may He have His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace. Until then, you will see me in my next video. Stay blessed, stay connected. Shalom.